Ooh, and it's already hot in here. We're yes. working already in the kitchen this morning. And uh, we have Chef Froelich here and David Froelich, and we have Emily Crowell, and they are here from Braze in Virginia Beach. Welcome. Thanks for being Thank here. You. So Braze is kind of a new restaurant, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Only been open how long? Eight months. Eight months. Since May. All right, and we are making some, what are we making today? Um, it's Chinese New Year, in mm -hmm. case anybody didn't know about it, and it lasts about 15 days, and we, uh, me and uh, Chef Dave was talking about um, all Chinese always eat certain food on New Year's time, mm -hmm. and the one thing that we must have, must have, must have, is the fish, because uh -huh. The sound of the fish is also means surplus. So the more fish that you eat during the New Year's, you're going to have a lot more surplus this year. Oh. So Chef is preparing for you. Uh, instead of steam fish, we're going to bake it in case somebody don't have a steamer in the house. So well, we appreciate you taking that into consideration. So, yes. <laughs> so we're having, we're having fish. It's the year of the horse. Right. We've got lots of good stuff in here. We want everybody to have a lot of surplus this year. And one interesting um, ingredient that Chris noticed earlier here is uh, we've got some, some rock candy. So we're going to be cooking fish with rock candy. It's going to be very interesting. It's in the sauce. It's, it's in, in the sauce. sauce. All right. And we'll we show you how we do it. And, we can't and, wait to um, see how you do and that. And the, um, the recipe is on your website. Absolutely. All so, right. We're going to get started with these guys in just a couple of minutes. Don't go away. We're back now with Chef David Froelich and Emily Krell from Bray's in Virginia Beach. And they're showing us how to make Chinese baked fish for the Chinese New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. Thank All right. Guys. Yeah, David, tell me, you've got a lovely piece of uh, fresh cut rockfish here. Yeah, we have a fresh local rockfish that we're using at the restaurant now. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be baking that today. We traditionally do the steamed for the Chinese holiday. Um, but like Emily said, if you don't have a steamer, this is the next best thing. Sounds good. Um, and with a, you can visually see it, not overcooking it. Yeah, we hope you have an oven. <laughs> okay. All uh, right, so what do we need to, you have, you have your ingredients all laid out? I do have a lot of ingredients. These are mainly for the sauces. The fish is going to be very plainly dressed. It's just a fresh rock fish. We're going to dress it with a, a shaved fresh ginger. Okay. Uh, what we do is take a uh, sizzle plate or a baking sheet pan, whatever you okay. need. Okay, baking uh, pan sounds good. A little um, pan spray or vegetable oil. Uh, we'll just lay the fish right on there. Skin side down. Skin side down. Uh, and just, why skin side down? Uh, you want you get crispy, mm -hmm. and the meat will come off the, the top of the fish like Sounds that. Sounds good. Uh, just dress it lightly with some fresh sliced ginger. And you cut those. Cut those. Pretty thin. Yep, yeah, pretty thin. Not it's, too thin it's though. It's just gonna kind of melt, and the juices are kind of infused with the meat of the fish. Okay. Um, then that's it. No salt, no pepper. Usually season oh. any of your meats or proteins with salt and pepper. But the finished product's gonna have a soy sauce on top, so you don't need to add more. It's going to just plenty of salt in the overkill. You're not going to enjoy it. Okay. Uh, so the fresh ginger on there, we're going to bake it in the oven for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the size, about 450. Um, there again, you'll see the fish becoming nice, uh, nice opaque uh, and flaky. Uh, then we'll finish that uh, later with the sauce that we're making. Um, we have some special ingredients for that. Well, let's go ahead and <clears throat> we can start making some of the sauce up now. What kind of, what all ingredients do we have here? Let's. Uh, we have, um, a uh, sliver of ginger, mm -hmm. scallions, uh, fresh garlic, a uh, white pepper, fresh cilantro, candied sugar, rock candy sugar. Candied sugar. Mm-hmm. Now, is this a special, did you go to a specialty shop to get your rock candy sugar? I don't use, or, or is it like in the candy aisle at the grocery store? No, it's no, in no, the, no, it's in the Chinese grocery. In the, the Chinese grocery? Yeah. Okay. It's several around the area. Along with this special, I haven't seen a soy sauce that looks quite like this one. It's a little different, is it? Yeah, we, uh, on the on the sauce, we have uh, um, uh, the, uh, the recipe on your website that if you can't find that particular one, you can use Maggie. Okay, but and you, but you got that. that at, at the, the, uh, um, the Asian market, you know, it's very, very popular. So you shouldn't have any problem. What's the difference it. between buying that and just they like the one? They have a little, little different seasoning because we have so many different soy sauce to, to do different things. And this one we found that is uh, best uh, pair with the fish. Okay. So try it. All right, we'll try <laughs> it. And then we have a little bit of garlic in there too. No. Garlic here mm -hmm. uh, and then the ginger that we and dressed the, the fish with. We, all right, mm -hmm. sounds good. All fresh, all cut minutes ago, so that's the way you want to keep it as fresh as possible. Okay. So do we have this all at once, or how are we doing it? I uh, see we're going to bake the fish. Yeah, I put the there. sauce on earlier when I have the sugar melt down in the, in the soy sauce to, you know, so it's not all crystallized, you know, break down the crystals in there. And yes. We're not using granulated sugar, so it takes a little bit of time. Um, then we're going to have the two soy sauces. We use the Kikomens and the seasoning sauce, equal parts, and then uh, double that with water. 
uh, reduce that down, and that'll be one of the sauces to finish the fish. Okay. You want to do that at the very end, so we'll very get end. that in a minute. But let's talk a little bit about the Chinese New Year and about Bray's and what we can expect. If, if you haven't been out there before, it's a really new restaurant. Yes, yes. And uh, because of Chinese New Year, this Sunday we're going to do an eight-course celebration at Bray's at 5 o'clock. And uh, Eight the courses. tickets. Bring, yes. your, bring your appetite, yes, huh? Yes, and ev yeah, every dish that have a meaning to it. So mm -hmm. it's like happiness, longevity. Give me a couple of examples. I like uh, shrimp. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the sounding of the shrimp means laugh. So oh. the more shrimp you eat, the more happiness you're going to get this year. Who knew? So, I didn't know. So, uh, and, and noodles uh -huh. as, uh, as signified longevity. I and you don't bite the noodle, you just slurp it. Oh. That's a Chinese tradition. Okay. You slurp your noodles and you get longevity. Oh, happiness and prosperity, everything. Everything has a meaning. Yes. All right, sounds great. And we have a menu to show you why we right. eat certain things and how they... Yeah. We do it. A course menu is yep. all printed out, and each course, each uh, dinner has a, a little story behind it. Yeah. So you so it, it it so self-explanatory like on the uh, educational. Look, we learn something yes. new every day here on the Hampton Road Show. We're going to learn how to make that it. sauce and dress our fish when we come right back to them in just a little bit. Now uh, let's see what Chris is doing. We're going to finish up this festive fish dish that we're making <laughs> for the Chinese New Year. Uh, Chef David Frillick and Emily Kral from Bray's in, Virgi in Virginia Beach, and let's. Let's get going with Let's this sauce. All, All right. right. We got our fish in the oven, the right? The fish is uh, finished up in the oven. Okay. We're just going to start heating up our uh, uh, canola oil to uh, brown off the garlic. Okay. It's the, uh, instead of sauteing the uh, ginger and scallions, mm -hmm. which will break them down too far, we're going to put them on fresh and just top it with the hot infused oil. Okay. Uh, Great. So what we're looking for is to heat it. up the oil. If you could pass me some yep. oil. Just regular canola just oil, regular right? Just canola oil. Just a couple of uh, little tablespoon or two. Okay. Uh, just enough to coat the pan. Uh, mm -hmm. Fresh sliced uh, garlic. Garlic. Get the whole uh, garlic. He warns me to step back. Yeah, this. it's gonna sizzle oh, a little bit. Bad. It's not that bad. All right, is that but like a, maybe a clove or two? Couple probably about a clove. You can bend depending, it. Depending depending on the size of the fish and how much you're serving. Okay. Um, it's all up to your flavor too. It's all more right. to infuse the oil to get the garlic flavor. We're gonna uh, spoon out so the spoon out the garlic. Quickly, it's gonna it? yeah. It's, so you can see it's starting to brown. Oh yeah, already. Um, so yeah, I'll just turn it down. Yeah, it's gonna get a very aromatic flavor. Uh, pull out the fish from the oven that's been finished. Mm -hmm. uh, it has the fresh ginger that we uh, let good. bake on top. We'll just take that off. We'd, uh, okay, so we want to take the ginger yeah, off. Yeah, this is non-essential for the plate. It's just for infusing the fish flavor. Okay. Uh, we'll plate the fish right on there, there like go. so. Okay. And well, we've got our browning garlic. This, and All we'll right. top the fish. We're going to give it a quick sprinkle of white pepper. Uh, the fresh ginger and the fresh gallons, yeah, little mm -hmm. matchsticks. It's also, yeah, so we have the garlic. Um, gonna just like I said, take out take a little that bit out. that we don't need. I don't need anybody to get a mouthful then of garlic. Just gonna dress it on top. It's New Year's. They may want to, you know, smooch their sweetie later. Sizzle. <laughs> like I said we're just gonna basically warm it up. Not to break it down like you would as a saute. Mm -hmm. And then we'll finish it with the soy sauce mix that we made with the two soys. And you've been heating and up the soy sauce, which is. It's been reducing down the... for a little bit. Okay. Uh, more or less to break down the candy sugar. Okay, so you put the candy sugar in with the soy sauce. Yes, the, all, three, all three ingredients. It's about two tablespoons of the soy, uh, like candy sh uh, sugar. Okay. And but we did a bigger batch today for to show that you can have uh, stay in your refrigerator for about a week or so. Okay, it's like rock um, candy in here. So you threw yeah, a couple yeah. handfuls of that in there with the soy sauce. With the soy it's sauce. a lot of soy sauce. How much? Well, like I said, we made a batch of it. It's about 16 mm -hmm. ounces of each soy sauce and then double that with water. Okay. Um, then reduce that down just to break down the sugar and you can refrigerate, cool down, refrigerate, reheat it and use it week, two weeks. Great, and use it for different dishes too. Yeah, different okay. dishes. Fish, and what about our cilantro? Where does that? Cilantro is just, just the finishing garnish. All right. Fresh, you know, like I said, with the scallions and the ginger, everything's super fresh, and that's the Make dish. It look pretty. It does look pretty because we eat with our eyes. <laughs> yes. Right. Yes, it's, it's very what the pretty. Say. So the fish again. What does this mean in the Chinese? Why do I want fish? It's uh, so you have a lot more savings. And savings. Yeah. For and that 529 account. That's, that's what we right. want this for. All right. Yes. <laughs> because of the sound of the fish and the surplus. Gotcha. It's also me. Happy shrimp. You. 
savings with our fish and longevity, and longevity with our noodles I've, see, for the new year. I learned. It's wonderful. All right, Bray's is at 3333 Virginia Beach Boulevard in Virginia Beach. Give them a call at 961-8131 or go to braysvab.com. And don't forget Sunday, right? Yes. So Sunday. We have that big celebration. Big celebration. And yes. you're going to have an eight-course meal and let everybody know what each course means for right. them in the new year. Sounds fabulous. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Can't wait to try it. Thank you.